trip over here for the alligator, and you promised me something I might regret but would never forget? No, I didn't say you might uh, regret it, Bill. I said only that uh, I guarantee you'll never forget it. Now, again, this is a repeat performance, although as in the past we had an alligator in our studio, and then we brought the studio to the alligator in the case last week when the alligator was too big to bring to the studio. Again, we have brought you out here to the reptile temple to show you an animal that is too big. Yeah. I see what they're our studio. Now, once before, we had a king cobra on the show, and at that time, I mentioned that it was a not an adult specimen of the king cobra. So I have brought an adult specimen of the king cobra here, or rather, I brought you, so you to an adult specimen of the king I might not be with you long, Art. You go right ahead. Get him out of the box here. Now this particular specimen is about 13 feet in length. Well, let's see if we can read it. He's coming just a little closer here, Bill. You can uh, I'm get up where you can see him. He's at 13 feet, and I'm going to stay 13 feet away. I'm going to get the box here out of the way. You get a hold of him, and I'll uh, take care of the box. I believe I've mentioned in the past a number of times, Bill, that the King Cobra is the largest type of poison snake found anywhere in the world. Yep. Of course, you know that he also, by many people, is considered to be the most poisonous snake found in the world. Although, in general, I do not agree with that. When the specimen attains the proportion to this particular one, then I might say that I might agree with it. But certainly, if you were bitten by a snake of this kind and of this size, you would be a very dead human being. Again, though, I want to point out that the King Cobra, like most of the other cobras, is not, in general, a dangerous snake to handle due to the fact that he is rel uh, relatively a slow-moving animal. Compared to our common uh, local viper, our rattlesnakes, cottonmouth moccasins in this country here, but in spite of that uh, slowness in movement, when you get the specimen of the proportions of this one, he becomes a rel uh, rather dangerous animal in spite of his uh, other characteristics. Well, I don't know what No, I'm not. <laughs> Better look at him. I see. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Actually, he's more desirous of going off in your direction, so if you come in closer here, I mean, uh, I can throw the snake. Yeah? I believe. <laughs> I think you watch him, or I'll watch you. In the past, you have brought up the point a number of times, Bill, about the intelligence of reptiles, especially in regard to the intelligence of crocodiles and certain types of snakes. I'd like to point out that the king cobra is by far the most intelligent of the snakes and certainly one of the most intelligent members of the entire reptile group. And this intelligence is displayed in a number of ways. For example, this snake will learn to distinguish between different types of snakes that are very similar in appearance. For example, he's a cannibalistic snake, and he will feed in captivity upon live snakes that he is completely unfamiliar with. And yet he can distinguish upon a very short examination between a cottonmouth moccasin, for example, which is poisonous and of course would be dangerous to him, and a harmless water snake, which to a human being looks exactly alike. So he does display quite a bit of intelligence. I might point out that where he comes from, they do not have the poisonous water snakes. So this is a new experience to him, and when you expose him to one, he displays quite a bit of intelligence by being able to figure out that it's something new and yet something dangerous not to be fooled with. Is this uh, an India? Uh, this is an Indian snake, yes. Yeah. I want to try something here. Demonstrate the ability to peck this animal on the head. Well, this can be done with other types of cobras, but a little difficult with one of this size. Enough to know 
what I'm trying to do when I bring him up to that box. And he'll go in when he decides to. Like right now. Thank you for looking.